as an engineer, I went to work one night and I began to test herbs. And I began to see that all the herbs that you guys are using are acid. Every single last one of them, except for burdock, yellow dock, they're natural herbs. And the other one, which is the uh, red clover, that's a natural herb. You know, they're alkali, they're very good. So I begin by compounding herbs from all over the world. And lo and behold, a blind man was killed named Mr. Fredericks. Then the Japanese, Fred Takashi, his wife was killed of endometriosis. She had a baby. She was never supposed to have a baby. She's a white lady from Utah. My boss brought his daughter and his brother with officers. They were killed. The boss came to me one afternoon and said, so you're going to leave me? I said, yep. He said, you're going to leave me? On your resume, you said that you didn't go to school. And the only reason why I hired you is that I was curious to find out how could a man have an engineer license never been to school? <laughs> I wanted you to fail. But instead, you did something that is extraordinary. Are all black people like you? I say, Brett Howell, his name is Brett Howell. Are all black people like me? I say, I'm the dumbest. <laughs> Yes, they're all like me and more powerful than me. But how come they're not doing what you're doing? You killed the blind man. You killed my daughter of ulcers. Could they do that? I said, they could do it better than you, than me. But why aren't they doing it? Because they're afraid of you. I'm not afraid of God. I'm not afraid of the devil. <laughs> I'm not afraid of anything, especially you. Because I don't live in fear. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Brad Howell, the black man of America is afraid of you white people because you guys made him afraid of you. And you should not feel good about that. It's not about me hating white people, loving white people, loving black or hating black. It's about understanding. 